Hi guys. I'm using one of my better cameras today. Because I've decided we're going to work on this. Now, I do need a bit of extra light, so I'm just going to angle my spotlights. That's a little bit, isn't it? Right. I've already gone ahead and put the handlebar on. I've just got to tighten up the bolt, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get them at the... Actually, I'm not going to put them at the right angle now. I'm just going to get them roughly where I want them. And uh, I can make adjustments later. Got this frame cleaned up as best I can. Yeah, it could be a bit better, but it'll do. Now, I'm not too sure these calipers are going to reach, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bolt the front one on. But then I'm going to get the original front wheel. Just move you around a little. And, uh, check that this caliper is going to reach because this has got quite a short reach on believe it or not you get lots of different calipers that have different lengths of these um, parts that hold your brake blocks you get long ones short ones and that made me jump oops and i'm throwing me nuts everywhere and i left me spanner on the bench hang on I did find a spider living in one of the um, brake levers and I've actually found out that written on the back of this just below the spring or under the spring it's got the name Weinman or Weinman if you want to pronounce it the German way. Uh, this has got some bits missing. Oh, I just have to. No, that's not the one. I need my tub of brake parts. I'll be back in a second. I know exactly where they are, so it won't be many seconds. I hope. all three. Oops. Right. Although I do believe what I want is in this one. I'm hoping. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> that wash is a little on the large side. Um, Use one on the other side of the force. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, there. Okay. Right. I'll just get that crank down. I think so. You can see. I'll go around the other side. I don't know how well you'll see because I'm not zoomed in or anything, but. And it's easier for me to actually bolt this on as well. Here we go. 
Now, what I want to do is, like I said, just get the front wheel that came out of it. I'm not going to use the front wheel. I just want to see if those calipers are going to be long enough. Ooh. I do believe they will be. wheel in. So, uh, someone might have uh, squeezed the forks in a bit too much. Ow. But, uh, going by that, well, if I can get the wheel in properly, it will fit. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the rear one on. And there is a difference. I actually forgot to mention that before I put the front one on. There is a difference. If you look on this one, that's got quite a short fixing post on it. The front ones will be longer because I've got to go through the depth or the width of the forks. So yeah, that is the difference. And I'm gonna have to change. I've got spaces here I don't need. Um, that one hasn't, but that's a bit too deep. We've got a shallow one. That will do. Oh, crumbs. I think I'm actually going to have to go downstairs and just grab um, my pot of nuts and washers, pots of nuts and washers. Uh, unless I find one that I can pinch up here. None of my calipers are at easy reach either. I was wrong, I did need one of those as well to go on the back side of this. you just realized as well. We ain't got my reflectors on it. Did I put it in this box? Um, no. Right, so I'm going to have to go back down to the shed. So I'm going to turn the camera off while I uh, just go get those extra bits that I need. Because I might as well get all those bolted on now make more sense wouldn't it so I'll be back in a little bit I'm back and uh, I've got the rear caliper bolted on with a reflector bracket I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother with the front on this one um, that's bad you can see it now it's all bolted on nice and securely wind the cable adjuster all the way in so that's ready so the next job is the brake levers now I need to go my little tub of hexagonal keys some of these in here the fixings are flat slotted screw but in this case I don't know if we can see in there yeah just about it's a hex Head. All I'm going to do with these is simply hook a little bit of a tight squeeze, but I think they're going to go on. Need two hands for this. I think loosening the screw off is going to do anything, so I'm going to put these roughly where I want them. A little bit higher. Round a bit. 
bit so we don't bang on the To, I can make adjustments later. It's not an issue. But uh, somewhere there is just a bit right. So I'm not buttoning ev um, everything down super duper tight yet. some brake levers with a slightly larger fixing bracket but they're going on. Let's put some marks on the bars but they're going to be covered with handlebar tape anyway so it doesn't really matter. Stop being a pig and get on there. Oops. This one roughly in the same position as the other one. Yep. No, this one's not marking the bar as much as the other one. Oh, well, maybe it was just me then. <laughs> Think. for there because I'll do the handlebar tape and everything at the stand so it was buttoned up good enough that's what I forgot to do as well get my steel of wool and just go around the chrome cup along around the bottom here just need a bit of a polish, that's all. A bit of a clean, I should say. Some of all this on the stem. It's a bit marked from the looks of it, but yeah. I'll find a better one in the future, I can always change it. Hmm. Did a bit of research on eBay as well last night into these uh, Sun Solo road bikes. They had them priced on eBay anywhere from £55 up to £125. And I even saw someone selling a frame for £160. I think they were dreaming on the frame, but never mind. Okay, it's starting to look like a bicycle again. <laughs> um, I'm hoping Wilco's will have some handlebar tape. I think that's actually going to look pretty sweet when it's done. I'm going to have to go digging for the wheels. I can't think of anything else I want to bolt on at the moment. I've got the seat post somewhere up here. Should be over here somewhere, actually. Here it is. Um, I'm going to reuse it because it's actually not that bad. And it is, uh, it is actually cleaning up rather well. And like I said, most of it is going to be in the frame anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But this will just lower the risk of it ever seizing in so let's give that a clean I'm not going to put that in yet because I need to find a bolt for that or at least a, a, a new nut for the bolt and to be honest the bolt is actually fine it's just the nut I want to replace I'll show you and there's the bolt for it it's not too bad, is it? The end of that will clean up nicely, the bit that's mostly on show. And that's the nut. I 
have got a little tray down here with my shiny nuts. So I'm hoping I'll find one that'll fit. Not that one. Hmm. Okay, so I may not have one to fit in there. Maybe I should check to see if this bolt is actually imperial or metric. Because <laughs> I could be trying to put uh, metric nuts on an imperial bolt. I'm just thinking because it's an old bike, it might be. Mind you, everything I took off was metric, so it's just a case of. Uh, Fading a boat. I don't know what I'll do. I'll just check my trays here. One of them. Or did I actually I may have taken them out. They may be in my tub. They're in my tub. That's typical, isn't it? I'm working up a sweat here as well. Let's have a look in here. Ah, here we go. One's got a nut on it. Will it fit this? No, it won't. Wow. Oh, tell me I'm going to have to change the bolt just because of that. Oh well. Let's see if this will fit on here then. Will it fit? We will, but I put the washer in the wrong place. Ooh. Right. Should be a little notch in here. Yeah, I found it. Well, I found it, the bolt hasn't. that I think well you can see me you can't see what I'm doing but you can see me <laughs> a cameraman I am not <laughs> right that's probably a 13 post. I've got to plonk that in the frame. It goes, uh, goes in rather smoothly so I'm going to put the seat all the way or the seat post all the way down for the time being. I made a mistake with this yesterday. When I was trying to get the old crank off and I just had it upside down to bang the cot pins out I forgot I loosened this clamp off so the seat post ended up down inside the frame that was a bit of a peak to get that out I know what I would have done if I couldn't have got it out I'd have just banged it all the way down <laughs> right that'll hold that uh, see I was going to put alloy wheels in this one because I haven't got any clean steel ones I don't think I do have 27 inch wheels out in the closet but until I now go have a look I'm not actually sure what I've got out there I only bought the old wheels up because I want the inner tubes out of those uh, but once I've got this actually what else have I got to do I've got to put the crank on can't do the rear derailleur yet because I haven't cleaned it up and I was actually um, toying with the idea of uh, putting another one on, but this will work. It's a bit stiff up here, it shouldn't be. There we go, it needs a good clean on. Yeah, 
That needs a good clean. I'm going to get the wheels up. Right, I think I'll call that part one. <laughs> so, what have we got done for part one? We've got the brake calipers on, the handlebar on, brake levers, seat post and clamp on. And I did the bottom bracket before I started filming because that was a rather fiddly job because they're all um, loose bearings, not in a cage. So I had to drop them in one by one, which was an ass pain to do, but I got there. New axle. Yep. So, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two.